What's going on guys? Welcome to your 40th Java tutorial where we're going to make our snazzy menu bar a little bit snazzier. And uh, again, thanks for watching, subscribing, giving thumbs up, showing this video to your grandma and be like, Grandma, you need to learn this crap because, you know, you just need to because it's awesome. So, thanks for, you know, spreading the word and uh, let's get into today's tutorial. We're going to learn about some mnemonics and making things go a little bit quicker. And what do I mean by, mean by a little bit quicker? Well, this is what we're going to do. We have our menu here. If I hit Alt, as you can see on our menu one, that underline M happens. And we hit Alt M on our keyboard and our menu pops up. We can hit Alt again and see our hotkeys for um, our menu items, such as bacon. And we can just hit B and it'll select bacon for us and perform some kind of an action. Basically those shortcuts are called mnemonics. So, so first let's set up a uh, mnemonic for our first menu. So we're just gonna say first, and we're just gonna say dot set, uh, is it N? No, M, N, all right, just kind of, kind of weird spelling. Who spells stuff like that? It's crazy. But um, anyway, so that's how you spell mnemonic. And uh, we're just going to hit enter. And as you can see, it either takes an integer value or a character. And we're just going to go bam. And the next thing that we have to do is we have to relate to which key that we want pressed. And when we're working with menus, the menu is going to be selected when we hit alt and then our hotkey. Um, so just keep that in mind. And you're probably just like, Travis, quit talking. Let's just get to it. So the thing that we need to do is we need to say key event. And we're just going to say dot. And we're just going to say capital V, capital K, underscore, and then basically the character that we want to have. So we're going to do M for our menu one. And there we go. I mean, we're good to go. And uh, just to let you guys know, when you hit Alt, it's going to say, hey, he's looking for the character M. And it's going to highlight or underline M within our string of our menu so that's something that you guys might want to you know keep in mind is having a you know your mnemonic set to a letter within your menu and having each menu have a unique mnemonic so there we go I mean we I mean it's pretty simple pretty easy let's just set up our second one as well so we're just gonna say set uh, mnemonic and again just key uh, event dot VK underscore and we're just gonna have this key event be E for the menu um, the E will be highlighted so that's pretty much how you set it up for a menu item or for a menu I'm sorry but menu items are a little bit different um, they're a little bit easier as you can see here I kinda set one up you just set it up as your second parameter of when you initialized your variable so uh, our first variable is again what's displayed just our string and then our second variable is going to be your mnemonic so we're just going to say key event um, dot vk underscore b for bacon and we're also going to say uh, you know the same thing for cheese except we're going to have c so I'm just going to copy and paste that and change it with a c so let's run this and see what happens so let's just check this out we're gonna run it real quick make sure it works and uh, you know we need to add one other thing to actually have our menus do something but it's kind of a review so now when we hit our alt or option button on our keyboard it highlights the mnemonics for us within our menu items or within our menus such as M and E and then we hit alt M or alt E and it'll open up that menu for us so we're gonna hit alt M and we have our choices bacon and cheese we hit alt again and you can see the hotkeys B and C for bacon and cheese but if we have alt held down and we hit B or alt C it doesn't select them we have to let go of the alt button and hit B or C and it'll select that item so I'm gonna hit B and it selected our item for us now you're like okay so that's pretty cool but uh, let's have our items do something pretty simple I bet you guys could probably figure it out um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some action listeners to our menu items so we're gonna have bacon add action listener and we're again gonna say this and also um, we might want to set up you know a string variable or something uh, this action is pretty lame but we're just gonna say add action uh, we're gonna say set action uh, command again just a nice little review here we're gonna say oh, bacon bacon whoa crazy got a little excited there sorry and um, then what we're going to do is we're also going to you know, set up the same structure for our cheese. 
So I'm going to say, you know, our cheese variable down here and um, and there we go. You probably want to, you know, get this baking craze out of here. We're just going to say queso, Spanish, and Java coming together. Um, so there we go. The only other thing that we have to do is implement our action listener to, again, our snazzy menu bar class. So again, we're going to go up top and say implements action listener adder imports and also just add the unimplemented the unimplemented uh, method which is again action performed and again we're going to change our action event here just to be the letter E and then we can say just like a system dot out dot uh, print just to make sure it's working we're going to say um, like menu item plus e dot get action command plus something like this selected and there we go now we should have some actions to our menus let's save this test it out um, run it you know all the good stuff and here we go let's put it to the test we're gonna hit alt M and then we're just gonna hit like uh, bacon as you can see it says menu item blah 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 uh, selected and then let's try it again M C and then cheese or queso is printed so that's a quick you know tutorial on mnemonics and how we can speed up things within our application to make it more user-friendly um, again thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later have a good one